Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural match of the August 2023 3v3 season. Uh, this is the season using set 9 Datacrons and set 10. So we got a super thick Datacron and a super offense heavy Datacron. So it should be a pretty interesting season. And to start the season, I have a rare treat because I'm facing Atlas. And I hadn't heard of him before, but he's in Maw. And if you remember, my last match of 5v5 was against a player from Incaw Patrol. So if you don't know, Maw and Incaw Patrol are the two best fleets in the or, uh, fle guilds in the game. They go back and forth. Well, I think Maw actually technically is better at Territory War. Uh, but Incaw Patrol is the one that decided to protest Territory War uh, for a little while. But he's at 12.5 million, not too shabby, large account. But he is not a super whale, at least for recent things, because he doesn't have a maxed out Leviathan yet. And he doesn't have every character, every new character maxed out. Like Nisa is not done yet. I uh, don't. Rex done, and Rex would be definitely an asset, at least in 5v5, not for 3v3. Uh, but not maxing out the brand new character, so. Definitely someone pacing themselves, and I uh, usually don't see anyone in blue gear anymore. People have them at least in purple, but uh, back in the day, before you could craft relic stuff in the scavenger, people kept their Ugna at uh, gear 4 to do that. But he's got all the other toys, he's got Third Sister maxed out. He's got a lot of R9s at the top, honestly, that's what I did notice. General Skywalker R9, Boss R9, Third Sister, Maul, um, so he's got a, a good roster. Not as maxed on Datacrons as I might expect. Um, definitely more set nine than I have. Um, so it's looking pretty good there for him. And set 10, I have similar, honestly, cause like it's so cheap this time with the cheap uh, data cache. I've been able to max out a lot to nine and eight already when usually it would take uh, two conquests to do that. Uh, so I don't know about my chances, but uh, the first first match of the season is a bit of a feeler anyway. So what did he set? He set on the top uh, some interesting stuff. He has Java, as you can see, a Seer. Uh, this, this is a good lineup. This is what I set. A Tarful team uh, with a pretty much optimal Datacron. It's the damage reduction for over 50% turn meter. I uh, got the Tarful, tons of, crit, tons of crit damage. So that should pack quite a punch if you let it. Uh, I got a Tuscan team here. I think that's a good lineup. Java, of course, and Zori, but no Zori Omicron. Uh, this player definitely does focus a lot on TW, which is why they're closer to my rank and not like top 50 or top 100, maybe. Um, but they, they have the good ones. Uh, so Savage, Omicron. Putting Savage with Darth Revan and Talon, which is kind of interesting. I uh, got the ability block, Datacron. I think that's the right call. Um, Qui-Gon Jinn with the Qui-Gon Jinn. I don't think the Qui-Gon Jinn level 9 does too much, uh, but he did have the right foresight level 6. I was not able to ri roll this no matter how hard I tried. I'm going to try Newt here, see if that works. I just want to see if that works for this season. Got Lord Vader. It's a tanky group. Um, Malgus with Malak and Vassal Shan Fallen. So a few strong Sith teams here. And a Ray team. Um, so raid team, I might go at first, uh, just attack it with Star Killer as I usually like to do. It's got JTR there and Ben, and Ben is missing the redeemed uh, Omicron, which attacks under protection, but he should pack quite a punch anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, and here's the data crown I'm using. Uh, since we're trying to be in the driver's seat most of the time, and that's what I did with set eight anyway, didn't have tons of extra bulk. I'm gonna go with a set 10 data crown, filtering for the most crit damage. Also got iron penetration too, which will help with Star Killer, but not with Mara Jade, because she does special damage. And they got the variety of stats, uh, a little spread out, so I don't anticipate too many problems here, but you never know when switching seasons, if there's something you didn't think of that's i change it up for you. Dodge that. Still dispelled there. Okay, so they're getting out ahead a little bit. Healing immunity didn't land. Oh, she's good. Oh, we're okay. So, yeah, this is. I was talking about, you never know if something's gonna go screwy. 
And they got off to a good start here. So, Starkiller is not going to be assisting Marjade anymore. Uh, so pretty much my hope is just I get a Star Destroyer off. Hopefully this doesn't kill anyone. But that's already a big wrinkle in my plans. Okay. Not off to a good start. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly happened there. But I will have to make up for that. Um, yeah, the way I'm going to make up for it is using my own ray. Oh, yeah, that was that was not something I want to happen. We're going to do true mirror here. I wanted to save this for the back or something. Uh, actually, it's offense on a set nine. Give protection Okay, this one's okay. Yeah, that was that was ugly, guys. My bad. <laughs> I had failed that bet on a Star Killer in a wrong time, but a long time. But the ability block on my Jade, I think, did a lot to me to do me in. Be careful because Ben can die here with that healing immunity. White. Do that yet. Doing these off of Ray. Land that on her. Off of this. Okay, JTR is gone. Get the armor shred. Okay. Damage from you there. Oh. The healing immunity, but okay, this won't kill him. I don't. Th okay, yeah, not even close. Yeah, start whittling on him. Okay. And I want a whirlwind here. Prevent him from coming back, but that'd be wise with that, cause Okay, I think I can drop bolt below the threshold for whirlwind without going under fifty percent. So I should be able to get the Whirlwind here on him. Yes. Okay, so just Ray vs. Ray. And do the basic. And yeah, we'll come out of it. Okay. Worst start than I was anticipating. Um, usually I can count on Starkiller, but I just need to learn from that. I need to figure out what happened there. Yeah, that was ugly. Ah, uh, but another kind of experimental-ish. Not totally, but just to try to confirm and see if it still works. Gonna use the Newt Django lineup. Why go on to try to avoid using something super good? I'm gonna sort by crit damage. Uh, use something good there because uh, they don't have a ton of, I don't think the Qui-Gon team has a ton of armor, base armor. I don't have anything really great work with here. I'm not going to use that on them. That's kind of more uh, my offense. That I want to use with like Chewy. Yeah, I guess I'll use 
this instead. Okay. Here goes. The same basic premise of this remains. Okay, that's probably the worst that could happen. Uh, so I'll put this on him to get the debuff there. A new survive, that's good. Um, choice here is do I use the special or just use the basic? Because the basic, I think, would definitely. Okay, let me just do. No, it did not definitely kill him. Kill up Newt. Okay, now he's gone. Cooldown's increased. Okay, now that'll take him out. Okay. Actually going pretty good. I could get full banners. In his counterattack mode. Get the debuff out there. Hit him with the extortion. Reveal Django. It's not going to be full. Yeah, the counter. I hate the counter mode, the defensive mode. It's like on offense. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's. Uh, I want to see. At least Django had. I'm rocking him out of existence. So, kind of ugly banners, but it does still work. Uh, that was the worst thing that could have happened at the beginning with Newt going down so early. Usually you don't want that. Uh, next I'm going to try Lord Vader. Alright, so here's the combo to take on Lord Vader. Got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Watt, and the Armorer. Uh, bringing in this DC just because it's got some extra health steal. Defense doesn't help against Maul, but it helps a little bit against um, Lord Vader. Once it's mono, we mono and extra protection. Gonna help some. So what are his stats at? Not like crazy high, uh, but fast is this on? Now regardless, I'm gonna go first stun Thrawn. Okay, he's really fast, but I, I sh should go first with Kylo, stun Thrawn. And they got a lot of defense here. 286% defense and the ability to block Datacron, which is kind of crazy. Uh, that's why I kind of need Watt, or I'm going to be ability blocked the whole time when it gets down to a one-on-one. -on -one. <sighs> okay. uh, also, my mic might sound a little different because I'm forced to use uh, iPhone headphones because my other headphones are dead right now, but I have to record at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's better or worse, honestly, but it's different. Okay, stun Thrawn. And... This okay. Sucks, I can't get it off. Or I can't get the... Yep, I just gotta hope he goes for, yeah, Watt. Okay, he killed both, actually, so I am... Might as well not have used anyone. Uh, might, well not have, might, might as well not have used armor at all, even. Okay. This, this is going wonderfully. Work on Maul. Fractures, no bueno. It it slows me down by half. This is no good. This is no good. Can't even get into ultimate. I dodge. This is gonna be an absolute loss. Okay, well I survived. <sighs> Where I want the hell steal. Okay, I'm not fractured anymore. Can't stun them all with three stacks of that. Thank goodness for the tank tech. Play from the phone. Oh. Yep, keep going at it. Um, I think 
I gotta jump in, but I think come back around. If he doesn't, and I'm okay, yeah, he swapped to him. That could have been bad. So I'm glad I did that. Stun him, prevent him from stacking up. Fracture, man. Okay, siphon more. Not even Thrawn is going down yet. Yeah, that's how slow this is going. Keep him locked down. Let's go. Fracture. Be healed. His maul a little bit. And Lord Vader's going to start stacking his masters so much because he keeps getting ultimate. It's done yet again. He's at two stacks. I can stun him. But it's only a matter of time before Lord Vader starts ramping out of control. Okay. Got rid of that big damage threat. Okay, you're annoying. Yeah, like, Lord Vader is... Crushing me right now. I have to hop an ultimate. But he's doing so much damage right now. And... Gosh, the passing back and forth is what drives me crazy. Extra siphon, because he's stunned. Rid of you, finally. But this one, it might be one I'll lose, because... His Lord Vader has a lot of mastery. Um, I think he's going to outpace me with his damage. I guess I'm doing more damage than he is, but I think he'll kill me before I can kill him. I am getting close. Forty-five seconds. Oh. I put it on auto. I, don't... I want him to heal up. Yeah, like that. Need him one more heal up. Okay, here's my chance. No. I have to clean up. Okay, yeah, he healed himself. That's not where I want him to. That sucks. I'm gonna have to clean him up with some bounty hunters. Not my day, guys. Just not seeming to be my day. Alright, and clean up Lord Vader with standard Fennec, Grief, and Mando. The ability block might do something here and there. I just want him to not ability block grief. So I'm actually bringing in this level three. It's not a huge chance, but 25% chance to dispel debuffs on ourselves. And arm penetration is wasted on Fennec because she's special damage, but that's the only one I have with that ability, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, but I do get some crit avoidance, which actually is kind of helpful, and some crit damage, which also, also doesn't do much either. Um, yeah, we need to... Get our contract, just get some armor shreds out there and whittle them down. Uh, yet, actually. Because uh, we won't get contract. He's low on health already, but okay, there we go. Um, just calling Fennec is going to be better than... Oh, I forgot he only has one stack, because you do two stacks when you're in contract. I mean, I guess maybe I could have killed him right there. This, I should do it. Okay. There we go. 33. Not pretty. I know what I'd say is pretty, but anyway. Uh, Malgus. I need Sith Eternal Emperor. Pretty much, and some side guys. Uh -huh. Assassin, I feel like that turned me into game. Oh, no, they have milk. Uh, I'm just going to Scion, because I'm going to use Treya with Nihilus and Savage, so Scion should be fine. 
And I want a Sith Datacron. Did I set all of them? Or use all of them? What the heck, man? What am I thinking? I don't have any dark side. Man, I uh, was over ambitious on my defense, I guess, with 3v3. Uh, but yeah, if we get to the back, because I have to use JML on that Darth Revan, I'm pretty sure. If we get to the back and don't have, and they have Galactic Legends there, then I'm pretty much toast. Um, I have Trey for Reva. Let's go. They got Ability Block, which is why I need extras with Sith Eternal. Do extra stats there. <sighs> you. You. Just to get, take her protection from her. Doubt. And so I won't try to do the heal. Still has doubt. Or to tell. So he's probably gonna die before he can get rid of the Dow, honestly. Get deceived. Oh, hold off one more turn, because I want to link up Malik to kill him, but I just want to siphon a little bit yeah, a little bit more protection from her. So yeah, here we go. I might be able to keep them alive, because uh this isn't a high flying damage team unless you. You have a couple big hits from Malak or Malgus. Alright, there's there's the one big hit, but uh might be able to keep Sign up. Okay. Very good. And this is why I wanted the protection gone, because she recovers protection when I debuff and she has a lot of health and defense. So I'm glad that protection bar is like pretty low and pitiful. Now. If I get to the back and there's a Galactic Legend, then it's like, ugh, why did I have to use Ray? on a Ray. And then I'm like, I should have just done that to begin with. That's a whole thing. Okay, let's do. Shock T and Barris. And Sword Fire Protection. Pretty sure it's just this one with Mission. Yeah, so 72% protection. That should be plenty. A little bit of defense. Um, But yeah, since they don't have a Malak there, I think I can do it. Uh, the special ability from... JML should be insane. Can't use it on. Can't call Sis on Darth Revan, but I can get quite the amount of damage on Savage through this. Let's use this for all the other effects. Need a couple in a row on Savage, I can take. Oh, actually, attack. Hell, oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah, these ability blocks are annoying for sure. Like, I can never use it with this special ability with... Oh, he's so close. That's actually super annoying, but... Okay. Buff immunity there means I can retake out town. Okay, good. There we go. And I'm not gaining the buff because of all this shock. 
Probably shouldn't have attacked Savage there. Should have attacked. Ability block. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, you gotta do shock. Bears. Oh. Okay, my ultimate. Bullet. Okay, he's dead. He's gone. Now I can just whittle down Revan. Um, but can't call assists. So we'll get it probably just with yeah, JML. Okay. See what it's what's in the back. Don't show me. Don't show me. Yeah. Might be able to take JML. Okay. Just uh, uh, Han Chewy that. Then I can uh, work him down from there. Okay, I might be able to do it. Might be able to clear. Um, yeah, this, I don't think this takes away. I think I can just execute my top plan. My plan for the top wall. Then just come to the bottom. Yeah, because a lot of this stuff takes definite precedence. Is a clear decision. Okay, let me just think through it. Starting with Java up top, uh, that's a pretty clear decision. Uh, let's just go with for damage on a light side Deacron. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Extra protection too, fantastic. And defense. Don't need tons of defense, but protection does help against thermals. And this is definitely the lineup. We want to use uh, Ron Onker Satin Tenacity. This is actually a really bad Kersantin. Like, I don't understand what's going on. You can get so much more protection. Now, offense uh, is this, but not much offense. Oh, no, no, that's just an off mod, so it's just about tenacity. I'm not sure what that's trying to stop. Night Sisters? Eh, that might be just for Night Sisters. I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, let's do it. And. Someone in 5v5 was like, why'd you stop using JMK against Java? I used to do it all the, all the time. I was like, I don't know, I barely ever do that. And then I realized they were thinking of 3v3. 3v3, I always use JMK. It's Java. Yeah, go ahead and attack Mace. I'm happy. Do that. Okay, swap to you. Target yourself. This little blue deadly bluff thing is what we're waiting for to go away before we can assist. Counters are still fair game. Hit the batter point. Okay, now we're to ultimates. I'm gonna use that here. I want to use it on Rouge. Not gonna land any debuffs there, and there's nothing to blow up with that. Uh, so you're actually far from your ultimate. What the cat? Oh, right back to it. Just get an armor shred out there, even though it's not big of a very big charge. Yeah, I want to get to this turn meter swap. Here. Oh, uh, that's looking great. He has barely any ultimate charge. Just getting, just working through his defense. It's not doing much damage. The leap itself, but getting the armor shreds out there. 
So yeah, that was not crit friend. Okay. Been working up. Okay, there we go. Armor shred. Uh, cat's gonna blow up soon. Unless I can swap to Kenobi and put her in damage immunity. No. Because he didn't have Shatterpoint, that's why. Can't Shatterpoint a GL. That did, like, all two damage. I wish JMK's basic would just ability block dark side galactic legends because it only abil ability blocks dark side non galactic legends, but then you even have like mace that can ability block. Right? Yeah, I got resisted there. Okay, we're going slow. I don't like that. Poor armor shred. I think that's as much as you can actually get then on that. Well, we're getting there. There. Okay. Slug is down. Um, I want to use gas here. First, you and you. Defense too, fantastic. Um, just extra bulk for them. A little bit of defense, not a crazy data cron. Oh, and no omicron. Hmm. I think I still want to use them. Um, because I don't know what else I can use. I need bad batch for Tarful. Um, they won't get me down in time for me to. I have no debuff to spell here. I think I can do that. But they are still gonna get a lot of buffs and stack up my damage, and I'm gonna get aerial. Too. And they also I don't think I have any AoEs, so. Yeah, that thing can ramp up and do a lot too. Okay, you have no foresight. Not enough to kill you, okay. Very tanky, then. Congratulations. I'm starting to do a lot of damage. I could have saved that actually, but it would. Hey, there we go. Now we're going to be increasing her cooldowns. Like that. I'm a shred. I really don't want him to go down, but I think he might. Because right now I'm saving. Wait, here is what I'll do. I'll increase turn meter. Try to kill her. Yep. And then Rex lay him. Okay, there we go. Uh, only one banner down for gas. That is great for him. <sighs> um. And for some reason, so for Tuskins, I thought I was going to have Django and Boba to use with Bosk. Even though I was simultaneously planning to use Newt with Django, which I already did. So I'll probably try Radis on those Tuskins. If this ever loads, what is happening here? Okay. A little scary. Uh, Jedi there, Radis here, and Bad Batch here. So let's just do Bad Batch now. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay. 
Creeper one. Let's... Might be a good fail safe. Cover. Avoidance. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this is gonna be tough. I mean, I'm not scared of Clone Wars Chewy, but this. Why I like Bad Batch for this? They can reduce their turn meter. Um, if they're exposed and they do a special, I think they reduce it by 50%. So we can kind of get around this by reducing their turn meter. And we do the true damage, um, which helps a lot. I don't know. They might just clean our clocks. Um, actually, I'm also going to have to target people with less turn meter. Yeah, they're barely giving. Okay. Pull off these buffs again. He's buff immunity. Good. Let's go for Tarful. He's got low turn meter. But still barely doing anything because they got a lot of defense. He's the only one with defense. Oh gosh, they're like so much damage. Okay, come on. He's Like so much control. I'll do this to reduce his cooldowns. Oh no, stop doing stuff. I'm scared of all of you so much. Oh. Okay, heal up, I guess. My backup plan for this is. Gidme? We got plenty of time, just like get someone down, man. Pull it all off. To heal them up, I guess before the healing immunity kicks in. I do like no damage when they're above. And close to get someone down and they just rip it away. They gain turn meter. not what I want to see at all. I'm not getting anyone down, man. I just need one person down and I can start you know, work from there. I'm not getting my defense up. Set cooldowns. Up to you. Pull these off. The thing is, every time I like, I guess, strip these, they heal and gain turn meter. Even though I'm applying days and healing immunity. Getting nowhere, man. Even with, uh, like, he doesn't have high turn meter. I guess they're immune to stun? That part of kit? Like I, that, I that that's something I cannot abide by. Like I am applying healing immunity and days, but they are healing and getting turn meter. Why does that happen? Heal, gain turn meter, and then they cleanse. Ah. Did everything that's resisted, yeah. 
such thing as a debuff. I get it. I understand. Boop. 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 Ah. I'm not getting anywhere here. Nowhere. Might have to use just Treya here. Like, gosh. Yeah, I got back. Jeez, that's so... That's... That's annoying. I'll come back to it. Uh, Radis. What do I even need here? Need a little offense. Yeah. Uh, nothing special on this, just some defense. I gotta hope I have enough to get through a couple of them at a time. Start with basics. Cleanse it, of course. Gotta be careful with how I play this, gotta kinda of need to wipe them all out. Shot. I don't wanna use that yet. Gotta be careful with these Tuscan Raiders here. Okay, now I think it's my time. Stop doing that, dude! Oh gosh, no, I, I, I wasted my chance. I need to kill both. That sucks, that really blows. I mean, I get, I can get them both down low, but let me just get warrior or something. Oh, he's gonna collect. So. Okay, cool. um, need an AOE. No AOE. Won't let me. <laughs> <sighs> that didn't get on that will, okay. Pick. The cleanse is always there at the worst time. Now I gotta try to whittle these guys down evenly and kill them with the AoE. The damage is so weak. Anyway, it's possible. But it's definitely challenging. Oh yeah, cleanse them, heal them up. Save those two exposes there. Oh, never mind. We can't save any exposes because they have a cleanse. Now this is the guy we need to work down some. Oh, 
That's not gonna get it. He's gonna, he's gonna cleanse up, heal up. Oh, now they're really healing up. Great. I don't have enough time to do this dance. Oh, yeah, cleanse. Heal. Everything we ever wanted. It's a dream come true. Uh, I think I can just rely on Boba. Yep. I was planning on hitting those exposes, but you cleansed it. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, draw. Perfecto. Ugh. Soul Granary is an exercise in frustration. Alright, I don't have any Dark Side Datacron, so I'm just gonna use one of this, these weaker ones. Uh, well, I guess I can use one of these. Penetration. Yeah, I'll just give some penetration, whatever. Um, yeah, I just need a rocket. But Tuscan Raider when it's a good setup. I could have done this. Well, no, actually, that I like. I killed Zam already. Yeah, I just need to get him striking distance and then kill with the execute. Getting contract will be helpful too. There we go. But he's not taking a lot of damage as I hope. Okay, actually on his turn oh. I think I can act. I don't think I can hear it. Heal up. I don't understand their healing mechanics, honestly. I need to kill this one because I. Why did he even like get stunned there? Why did he gain turn meter there? I don't understand. Close. And now we <laughs> now we went down, and it doesn't matter because. Do a double pack, Boba. You're the only one doing damage here. Dodge. That's no or dodge. Or get dodge. So, you know whatever you want, bro. To prime him, so we can just get reject shot back down to earth. All our dreams destroyed. I can cl got closer last time. I guess when you hit them when they have over 10 stacks of momentum, is that it? 
I hate this team, dude. I swear I hate this team. I even have a bunch of armor penetration. It's not like doing shiz. Are you? I guess I can avoid taunts. I can just go for chieftain, but I'm gonna like stun him constantly. I get stunned from attacking him. Yeah, I'm gonna get stunned from attacking him. Heal up, yeah, just heal. Yeah, don't worry about it, just get healed. Yeah, just cleanse off. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just sit down. Here, just. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Even in my video where I said Tuscans aren't worth working on anymore, I said they're annoying in 3v3. Gosh. So many teams I just can't freaking stand, man. Can't stand to lose to them. Yeah, this, this is one I'll use. Then I'll go to the bottom after that and see what I need for Mr. Tarful and Mr. Mr. Tuscan, Miss Tuscan, whatever. Some banners on Revan. Okay, that there. I won a game. I won a battle, guys. See, it happened. Okay. Oh yeah. Gosh dang, JML here. Dash on Chewy, baby. And then the Wookiee one. Bonus turn for defeating an enemy. Um, what do we have here on this? Lots of defense. Watt doesn't bulk up from any of that. What's his base stats? Pretty healthy, which is pretty disappointing. Hmm, Jamal and Bastel are gonna rip us to shreds once they get not health focused, so even with the Bastel lead, it's not gonna be so crazy crazy. Okay, let's just He got it off. Okay, it's... Uh, dash is ability block, so I'm not gonna get to AoE. I need to kill Mr. Watts. He's gonna get his AoE. Yeah. He got the Tang AoE.
If this, if this would, if this match happened at the beginning when I started doing YouTube, I wouldn't upload it. I, I am hating this match. Uh, I'm not gonna clear. There's no way to get past that JML. Uh, might as well just. See a way around this other than Treya. Gosh. Yeah, I don't see a way. It's too crazy. And I don't have any Dark Satagras. This is piss poor execution. On every level. Let's go. Watch them destroy me. Just destroy me. Yeah, I really wish I had normal bounty hunters, didn't have to clean up Florida Vader. Because that Instaco would have been nicer too. Get out of here, Tarful. I can't stand you. Let's see your face ever again. So I think that one, that level six, is by far the best for this one. It is ridiculous. It's, re it's so ridiculous, it's ridiculous. to kill all of them. Here. Definitely gonna tag or target Zalmar next. Now I wish I had this team. I have a six star Tarful. I think I might need to try to rush him. For this and for 5v5, five five. it's gonna be crazy. Bad Bash just did not have enough. Or Chewy, for goodness sake. It's not even... It's a, it was a joke character before. Gonna kill him. Should have no problem against me either. He has oh, three Galactic Legends. I don't know, maybe I'll have a problem. Yay, we did it. Okay, now for Tuskins. Really annoying Tuskins. Uh, do I have any revive prevention? Something that makes clones prevent revives. The Iden. All right, I'm running on fumes here. I don't have stuff that's super strong. That can do big AoEs, so I kind of need Death Trooper's Death Mark here. Uh, yeah, a lot of other stuff I have is just single target and not good at avoiding taunts. Doing big AoE damage or preventing healing. I really messed up my opportunity with... Radis. Um, so I need to kill him once. And then, oh no, I just tried to that. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's all we needed. Didn't have to go all through that with Boba, I guess, but that was the first thing that came to my mind. Just... Hey. 
hate his animation so much. It's so dumb. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Especially when he does a double attack. Ooh, ooh. Drink. Oh yeah, drink from your dumb bowl. That's cool. You're you're stunned. How do, how do you enjoy it? All right. Python profundity executor. No, just Leviathan uh, malevolence. Baratus. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I kind of wanted to see that because. I'm getting stopped short on land. I'd like to try more over there. Okay, so I've used a lot of my stuff. Sadly. Well we got? I got Gidme, I got Wampa. Maybe Wampa on Saw. Got first order. Son, I got Imperial Troopers. Oh, let me just try Wampa here, though I feel like it's a trap. I don't have any Super Data Chrome for him anymore. I don't even have a Dark Side one. Just give this. Okay. But Rebels are Wampa's thing. Done. Yeah, I need to take a turn. I need to counter attack. Okay, good. Get to do that. That was looking dicey there. A little bit of momentum. Of tenacity now, since we're taking much turns. A lot more. Okay, is she down for the count? Get out of here. Okay, good. Wampa. Solid, man. Love it. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna try Night Sisters here against this Grievous team. I don't even have the Night Sister data crown to use. Um, but I'll just give a little bit of stats somewhere and get some by health, I guess. <laughs> Getting running dry. All right. I really thought I'd have more dark. Well, I guess all the set tan is light side. Yeah, that's not special team. I don't have Marin fully done yet. I wish I did. And I wish I had a Night Sister Datacron here. Probably heal him up preemptively. Okay, well, I'm glad I still have zombie revives. It's not fun attacking that.
Okay, getting him stunned as soon as he's out of that damage immunity. Oh, wow, we, oh, wow. It's out there. Daka tanks a, up there. Once he runs out of that damage immunity. Okay, I really want to stun on her, on it. Back. <laughs> ooh, ooh. No. Good. It's done. Come on, come on. It's done. It. Bring it down. <laughs> Dumb droid, aga. Fill you up. This Daka is hanging in there. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Oh, I have to try this stun. Okay, good. Try this stun again. Yes. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Okay, I played that wrong. Hey, shut up. Oh, gosh. Maybe I can kill that droid if I go fast. Let's do Mon Mothma. You two clowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I hope he doesn't have his roll up right off cooldown. They okay, know. Yes. Let's go. Thank you. Go. I think I'll get him down. Ah. Okay. Got the buckets of bolts down. Dash. It's gonna be tricky. I think I gotta do Padme. Yeah, I don't think. I even get an A pad. And I want all the defense. Yeah, I want us to stay alive. Still gonna be hard. thing on that's not bad at all that's great the sarcasm by the way that was terrible because I don't even have the debuffs anymore I need dash to do his AoE again and then do the cleanse. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, good, he's gone. He had a lot of health. That was 97 keeper hit. I lost all the courage there, but got it here. Okay, and Hondo would be rotating. No? Yes, he will indeed be rotating. Healing up all the way. Might help me actually get to like max bridge stacks. Dodging all the time. Yeah, like I could. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, that worked. Close to what I was hoping for, it too, so that's good. Um. Trench. No mechanics applicable, just some stats. 
You know what's sad? It doesn't seem like this guy went out of his way to make a hard defense. It just, just work. It just worked out like that for me because it was pitiful. My end. Garden. I guess I might just die from dots eventually. Yeah, Dugu seems close to death by dot. Or by that. Okay, there we go. Good job, Darth Vader. You do deserve to be a top 25 character. I take it back. Okay, yeah, that's. That sucks. Is there any way to get Watt down? I don't think so. I don't think I have a way around that taunt. Get whopped. There's and there's, these are all relic characters. I just have like nothing. Like the bottom of the roster is really the bottom of the roster. It's... Troopers, good team, but. Not gonna get through that extra bulk. Uh, first order of TIE pilot, not bad either, but. Yeah, that's just sad. I gotta move on to ships. Alright, here we go. So, taking on Leviathan, my, ten my intention is to not bring in any reinforcements. However, in Arena today, I tried a battle against Leviathan and I won, but they were able to insta-kill one of my ships, and I got my ultimate, but I needed some reinforcements to help finish the job. So, I don't think I'm going to win with banners, because I did full clear, so I'm just taking that and everything, and hopefully I can win without reinforcements. Let's just start with that and that. Sabotage in my engines. Go down. Didn't go down. Didn't go down at all. Dash, get in there. Okay. You did the, you got the job done. Sabotage the hangers. No reinforcements. That was the mistake. Um, I guess I won't wiggle because I can call him assist. Okay, that was some extra assist. Okay, definitely that ended up being worth the basic. I attack there. What am I doing? On uh, everyone's days, so I'm just gonna wiggle because I'm not gonna call any assists there. Getting close to ultimate for sure, and that charge helped a lot. I think I might get it on this next turn. Yeah, I, I should definitely be at the ultimate. He just had to do a basic because that that was a really dumb move for the AI. Double special in a row. That was really dumb. Okay, so. 
in this particular instance. Didn't need any reinforcements at all. Crazy. Okay. One fleet down, 74. You know, that could have been 77, 78. Uh, malevolence now. With bounty hunters. The good life spy. Sun Fack. I need to, I need to heal him up. The real one as a health bar. Okay, 71. Ah. So let's do a Chimera, it's more fun. These two. Yeah, let's do that. I just want to get a, I want to get a lot of foresight out and get a turn meter on my capital ship. That's why I put scythe in here. Do I have to target. Yeah, I got to attack, attack there. Get some more foresight out here. formation. Now I got offense up. I believe this hits. <laughs> I didn't even get to see the third hit because it was a uh, just did with two 100k each. 26k? <laughs> that is crazy. That is so much damage. My gosh. At least that was fun. All right, sixteen thirty-one garbage score. That we need. A sh we're shooting for like over two thousand with the clears. Yeah, that sucks. I dropped a lot of battles this time. Back, like back there, it was like I was already kind of feeling defeated. So, biggest problems. Star Killer, obviously, going down. I'm going to need to look back at that, see what exactly went wrong, because that was way wrong. I've never had it go so badly. Um, maybe I just need to use Bulky Data Crown next time, but I was strapped for Dark Side once anyway. Uh, so that would have saved me Ray. Ray could have handled 
a JML problem in some shape or form. That's the only thing I couldn't get through, just JML. Um, Lord Vader, you know, could have gone... That was very unlikely. Not getting armor to ever give the thing very bad. So I had to use and it's a valuable insta-kill there. I uh, got through the rest according to plan, so that was fine. On top... I'm blowing up right now. The crap. Uh, top Seer, that one according to plan. Tarful, not according to plan. That team is crazy. My goodness. That level 6. Oh, definitely use that level 6. I had a, I was, wasn't was quite sure which one would be the best. I had a feeling that one would be amazing. Use that one. Tuskins, hate them. Um, Could have made it work. I just had Django, too. I think that would have been good, too. And I... I wasn't like quite a misplay. It was just like trying to perform surgery with Radis, and I didn't quite get it off in the right way. I didn't check his speed too. He might have been pretty fast. Not according to plans or according to plan. Oh, um, just learning pains, I guess. Not when they do Deacron set, and I call it right before that ray that it could have gone wrong. Wampa did his job. Darth Vader came in, did something. Padme did a good job there. Uh, so let's see what he does. Comes back. I mean, what if he got? What if you got stopped on the front wall? I mean, this is my front wall. Maybe it could happen. Same Lord Vader team, same job team for me. Seer, um, with the Omicron, Earth Revens, uh, Tre Reva, and he didn't bring, uh, he doesn't have Savage Press, so I don't know. Who knows, I I could win. Uh, I just always assume it's a loss if I didn't full clear, but I'll come back later to see for sure, so see you in a bit. All right, well, my opponent did his job. Uh, he full cleared me and thoroughly won the game. Um, I take a little bit of a comfort in at least that he got a good enough score that even if I had cleared, um, I wouldn't have won. Actually, I actually did get one more banner um, on my phone. I was able to take out Watt just because for some reason when I went in to try to do a garbage match, he wasn't putting the tank tech on JML right away. Maybe that's exploitable, actually. Um, he put the health tech on Bastila, which was kind of weird. So I was able to kill Wop. I had nothing that could touch these two, especially I was. I tried a couple times to go right for Bastila and not, never got anywhere. JML, they were just way too durable there. Uh, so it was it was never gonna be looking pretty good against that after I had I had used Ray on the front wall. Um, he dropped a couple, but only on the front. He only dropped against Lord Vader and Seer. The rest of the defense, he didn't seem to have any kind of issue. And I had just shown that, so I won't go look at them. They're all one shots, and then on ships, one shots too. Um, 2011, that's that's a beatable score. Uh, if I uh, full cleared one shot, I would have won clearly. Uh, but yeah, big takeaways are. Oh, I, I looked back at this Ray match. The reason I lost is because they got a lucky dispel from JTR. Um, so Ray was clear of debuff, so her damage wasn't being halved. And then I had another t a chance to get debuffs on her with Mara Jade and Palpatine, and they dodged both times. Uh, one, I think, was from Foresight. The other one was just very lucky, so that's very unfortunate. If she had been debuffed, a Palpatine would have stayed alive, and I probably would have been able to make something work ah uh, but yeah pretty rough you need her debuff to get anywhere lord vader was unfortunate um i feel like eight times out of ten i'm gonna come out winning that one but tarful or uh, wookies that that specific level six that's a crazy ability that's very strong so i'm gonna be on the lookout for that this season um i think that level six is the one to beat uh, i don't think you're gonna get ahead of that with the 75% damage reduction. Very frustrating. Uh, so good looting, looting experience this first match. Uh, tough to lose as always, but we'll learn from it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.